All right, guys, welcome to another Not A Podcast. Been a little while since we've done one of these. Right now, we're playing the uh, Nav and uh, Meek Mill. Tap. Let me know what you guys think of Meek Mill and uh, Nav. I like Meek Mill. You know, I like Tory Lanez. Let me know who you guys listen to. All right, so uh, Not A Podcast today. Five trendy, affordable items out right now. Meaning you could go to the store right now and pick them up or online. You'll Basically, I wanted to recommend items that you guys would have access to. And then what else we got? Um, what about the office? Oh, Gabe brought up the office. We've been working really hard on the new office. You guys saw it in the uh, vlog that we did for a million. Um, let's just say the office, kind of like Fantasy Factory Part 2. Not part two, but like 2.0, you know what I mean? But our version, a mini version. We'll do an office tour, a preview of the office tour at the end of this video. So if you guys want to see what the office looks like so far, stay tuned for the end of this video. What else we got? Uh, oh, Australia. Let me know if there's any fans out there. Uh, Melbourne, Sneaker Con, we might be out there next month. I'm super excited about it. I never been there, but yeah, that would be fun. Gabe just asked me if I ever had kangaroo jerky before. Bruh, 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 bruh. I can't do kangaroo jerky. You know, kangaroos are like, they're like characters in cartoons, you know? They could be vicious. You know, they be boxing. Crocodile, try crocodile. Would be a little crazy, but I, like I said, I would try it. But uh, yeah, anyways, Australia, let us know. Sneaker Con, Melbourne, if we should go out there, get some content. That would be really fun. I say we get into the video though. Five trendy affordable items out right now that I recommend personally. We're gonna do a uh, hot takes format, one minute, one minute each. All right, let's get it. You know, that's just a uh, guideline, but you know, sometimes we like talking a little bit longer. Oh, respecting the time. Okay, I'll try to respect the time limit today. All right, so number one, fear of God fitted essentials version. Have you guys seen this? They just dropped about a week ago, and if you guys don't know, uh, New Era and uh, Fear of God made the uh, hats with the, you know, F on them. I would say fifth collection, I think it was, and retail for those hats was $300. And I just took a look at the uh, resale value for those. They were selling at one point for $450, even $500. If you go on StockX, the last sales were $500. Bucks. But Fear of God has made an alternative version, and it is not even like... An alternative there's no quality difference in the two hats and this one is actually just I think their retail is 40 bucks but right now you can find them pretty much if you get lucky you can find them at a lids but on StockX uh, they are reselling for about 90 bucks I've seen some in the group sell them for about 70 bucks but $70 versus $400 and they're all black super clean gray underbrim so you know if you want the green underbrim you're gonna have to get the original fear of God ones but gray though this one's I think it's dope so uh like I said 80 80 bucks you could get a uh, fear of God hat which is dope all right so for number two we got minimal snap two cargos these will be dropping in August okay and they are absolutely bananas. I got to give a huge shout out to Minimal for these. 64 bucks. And let me show you them right now. Minimal sent me a pair. So here they are right here. They will be coming out in camel as well. They got uh, one other colorway. This is the olive. You got the traditional snaps at the bottom. You got the crazy yellow drawstring. I would say these got to be one of the most trendy silhouettes as far as cargos go right now. And that is because if you look at the uh, pockets... You got them on the side, and then you got them additionally on the front right here, which is really, really iconic. Super dope. You got the pockets on the back. I would say this is just a uh, just a really easy pair of pants to have. But like I said, these will not even be dropping until August. So what you guys need to do is get on the wait list, all right? So you need to go on the link in the description box below, add your size, and then get added to the wait list, and you will be notified first when these drop i don't think they're going to be making a lot of these these will for sure be selling out you know minimal has those items that sell out really quickly these are going to be one of them i know uh paul's been hyping these up a lot lately and uh i'm seeing them in person and man the quality is crazy good construction really comfortable i recommend these as the number two item on the list and like i said i'll leave a link down below so that you guys can get added to the wait list but that is super important all right guys so for number three i've been eyeing these shorts for a while 
I just ordered them, so they have not came in. But once they do, I'll, you know, vlog them or something. But I got to recommend these Nike sportswear, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, we always recommend like swim trunks, that whole look. But these are nylon shorts that you could rock casually. I really like this forest green colorway. Right when I saw this forest green colorway, I was like, I got to rock the shattered backboards with that. You know, the forest green with the orange crazy these are only 45 bucks nice above the knee cut and i would say they're just a clean pair of shorts i think if these were like a collaboration between like kith or fear of god or something i think these will be flying off the shelves they got a ton of colorways that are really cool they got the red they even got a pink I like the forest green personally I think it's a really nice green but like I said you know 45 bucks I recommend these a really nice clean pair of shorts for the summertime all right so that's number three it's getting hot in here you know it's summertime right now I'm rocking the uh, long sleeve you know in that uh hype talk that we did with uh, tan recently and I was telling him he needs to dress for the weather I need to do that too man the long sleeves get hot let me pull these up a little and if you guys are uh, wondering where I got this shirt, this is actually from uh, John Elliott. It's their like sun-dried uh, long sleeve. You can't really see it in video, I don't think, but it does have like some nice fading to it. All right, so number four, man. I'm really excited about this one right here from Zara. $29.99. You get a clean pair of sneakers. And these are a dope alternative to the Mason Margiela Distress Fusion sneakers that are like over a thousand bucks but even my opinion these look better than the mason margella version you just gotta rough these up a little bit still you know still get that messy you know look to these but 29 dollars. i saw these in person they didn't have my size um when i went to the store but i'm looking online right now they have a full size run and they are actually constructed really nicely retail was 90 bucks they are on sale right now for 29 dollars. you can't beat that if you guys want a clean pair of sneakers no branding on them. No one's going to call you out. They just clean 15 seconds. I say rec I roll with these. The sneakers or the brand don't make the man. You know, you got to make the sneakers dope. And I recommend these for, uh, you know, back to school for the summer, anything. I really like the colorway of these. So the Zara, I think they're called sneakers with trim. They're just called white sneakers with trim. We'll leave links down below, but they're really dope. Woo! All right. So the last item that I recommend, affordable, $60. You know somewhat affordable at least affordable compared to a lot of items out right now you know the hype stuff 60 bucks we got the urban outfitters utility cargo shorts and these are really dope because i'm not a fan of traditional cargo shorts with the uh, pockets on the side I actually really hate that look it kind of reminds me of like dad's that dress from costco or something i don't i don't really know you know with sandals i would say these are vibe the pockets are in the front one of the pockets has a zipper the colorways are dope I think these shorts are really cool if you're trying to like basically wear cargo pants but it's too hot for cargo pants you need an alternative they come out in a dark green black there's a full size run right now I like the green a lot the dark green is really nice kind of has like a real you know unique shade to it kind of like a slate aqua if I uh, had to describe what that color would be but 60 bucks, like I said, I'm going to get a pair myself. I'll do a review on them if you guys want. I have not seen them in person. But from these photos, they look pretty promising. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out that five trendy affordable items out right now. Like I said, we'll leave links down below for you guys. And, um, oh, we got to get into the uh, preview of the office. You know, I promise that. All right. You guys want to see the office, what we're doing. We're going to swing it over to some vlog footage right now. But, uh, you know, as we get out of here, I might have to... Shout out to the boy Sky right now. He likes hopping on the chair. All right, guys, we're gonna transition right now to a little bit of vlog footage of The Office. Show you guys what it's about. Australia, let us know if we should be out there. Peace. All right, guys, so like we said earlier, we're gonna show you guys a quick tour of The Office right now. We're still setting up, you know, we're still putting things together. We got all the cameras right here, testing out some segments. We got the couch, not assembled yet. Shout out to Gabe. Got the uh, Jordan poster in the back right here. What up, uh, Andrew? Hey. Yo, I gotta show you this right here, man. Shout out to, uh, what is it called? Tobu Sinika. Tobu Sinika. Tobu Sinika, man. They sent over the levitating display right here. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested. But this is really dope. They have black ones as well. So make sure you guys hit them up. Really cool levitating display. 
We got Tony right here. He just beat me in one on one. That's what we're he, got the the right, I'm, I'm. he got the ship. He got the ship. Uh, he got the he uh, got the belt right now. Yeah, all day. You know we got a shout out to Tan for bringing in the Red Bull fridge. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got stocked in the. Uh, bam! A lot of uh, monster and water. No popsicles for the ladies yet. Those are the weirdest ice trays I've ever seen. What the hell did I kid? Oh, what the? For, uh, you know that that's storage? for water bottles. That's for water bottles. Oh, water bottles. Oh, let me. Let's test this out. Let's see if it works. Not much water, but it's all good. What do we got right here? Oh. Fries. So you see the, the boss man right here with the headphones on. He's just getting some uh, conference calls done. Whoa. Oh, man. Now Honestly, I see what you guys are doing. These are for the office. Yeah, in my opinion, I feel like these are better than the regular ice cream yeah. trays. Uh, All right, cool. Especially if you got, you know, especially water bottle game. All right, top five items from IKEA: the water bottle ice trays. All right, let's do it. Don't, hey, this is a rule two for the office. Don't be putting no TV dinners in here. Uh, All right. No microwave. No, <laughs> yeah, no microwave. Microwaves aren't swaggy, bro. Nah. If you're gonna put something in the fridge, you gotta be salads. There'll be no leftovers left at the office. No, 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 no. Alright guys, so you know, like we said, just a really quick tour of the office back there. We haven't shown the uh basketball hoop, but uh there it is right there. We're gonna roll that out sometimes when the uh weather's, you know, actually it's pretty nice right now, but one day we'll get a real tourney going. Alright, alright guys, we'll uh, catch y'all later. Peace.